USA Today Washington Bureau Chief Susan Page covered George H.W. Bush since 1980, the presidential campaign. She's also working on a biography of Barbara Bush, and she joins us from our Washington Bureau this morning. Susan, good morning. Hey, it's great to be with you. Uh, you can't help but, but look at this extraordinary life uh, that, the, that the late president had. Uh, I mean, first of all, his resume politically was, 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 it was almost unparalleled. Even his marriage was epic, wasn't it? It, it, it's true. It's a it's a, a remarkable American story uh, from his enlisting uh, to go in, to, to in, in harm's way during World War II on his 18th birthday uh, when his dad took him uh, uh, to New York to uh, to enlist uh, to meeting uh, Barbara Bush at a at a high school Christmas dance uh, and then marrying. They never really. Uh, she used to say that it was he she she, he, she married the first. A uh, guy she ever kissed, which she said would make her grandchildren want to throw up. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> but they had, they did have a, a remarkable union, and and uh, and the end so s sweet and and sad, isn't it? That uh, that Mrs. Bush would die in April, and that that he would follow uh, here at the end of November. Susan, he was called the most consequential president, one-term president. Mm -hmm. What made him so effective in just four years? You know, I think that with the benefit of a little bit of hindsight uh, with George H.W. Bush's presidency, he looks bigger than he did at the time he left office. He looks more successful, more consequential because of the skill with which he handled the end of the Cold War. Uh, you know, that was a treacherous time full of risks, possible to make missteps, uh, but he was very well designed. He was as though he was meant to be there for the end of the Cold War because of his experience and his, uh, his ability to do diplomacy uh, with such skill. And then, of course, repelling the uh, Iraqi invasion of Kuwait, also a big part of his legacy. Uh, I think also, you know, his uh, civility uh, resounds in an important way now. We remember uh, how civil uh, things were. It wasn't a golden age of bipartisanship, but compared to today, uh, it looks like there's some lessons to be learned. There's no doubt about it. And, and there are so many things with his foreign policy that are looked at in that one term, but also domestically, things that people forget about, the Clean Air Act, and also mm -hmm. working on the American with Disabilities Act and having that lasting impact as well. You know, and another thing, he was uh, a groundbreaker when it came to AIDS. Uh, I think it's easy to forget uh, the stigma attached to HIV AIDS at the time he took office. Uh, and w And this was something that, Barbara Bush also urged him to do. I think, in retrospect, that also is part of his legacy. Uh, so there were some things that involved serving others that really uh, th are threads through his public service. And through his family as well. Yeah, Susan, yes. you mentioned, we mentioned that you're working on a biography of, of Barbara Bush, and, and you interviewed the president for that um, in November uh, of last year. And I mean, what did you take away from that conversation? You know, uh, I, did, I did interviewed George Bush many times over the years. He was, in fact, the first national politician I ever interviewed in 1980 during the first presidential campaign I ever covered. And then to see him again, what, 37 years later, uh, at, toward the end of his life, he was, uh, when I interviewed him last November, almost exactly a year ago, uh, he was struggling with the effects of, of uh, Park the form of Parkinson's disease that he that he had. He uh, could understand and could speak, but only uh, short sentences. Uh, but we what we were talking about in that very final interview was his wife uh, and about what had attracted him to her and what amount, what, why their marriage uh, lasted so long and what role she had played in his success. And I said, do you remember when you saw her for the first time at that Christmas dance in Greenwich, Connecticut? And he said, uh, I remember, I said, well, what drew your eye? And he said, she was so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so Jeb Bush said it, the front row seat to the most amazing love story. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's so true. That's it. It's so oh. true. It's just, it, it's an extraordinary life. And, and, and in the end, also a very humble man yes. in so many ways for all that he did and did for this country. We will have much more uh, on the death of George Herbert Walker Bush, uh, the 41st president of the United States, in our uh, next hour. Bob Schieffer will join us to talk about uh, his memories of the 41st president. And you can always find the latest on CBSNews.com and on our streaming network, CBSN. And our thanks, of course, to Susan Page.